Lo, I know I talked a lot of shit. I know I talked a lot of shit. But that devil hey, he different. He different, you heard me. He, he, he different, you heard me. It, it was like, man, it was like I couldn't get to him. It's like when I swung, he wasn't there no more. And every time I came in, he would hit me. And, and I was down, and I was like, damn. I ain't going to sit up here and lie. I, I just think Devin ain't better than me. As I said, sometimes you, sometimes you just, just go find uh, fighters that's better than you. And, ooh, it's, it's, it's terrible. So y'all want to ask me how his power was? He hit me, and ooh-wee, ooh-wee. But it, it wasn't that night, you know, like, not, wasn't really nothing I, you know, hadn't felt before. It wasn't nothing, you know, got quick power. That's about it. What, what I'm going to do to get better? Well, that's what I do. I lose, and then I go and get better. Uh, you know, all right, the only thing that hurt me was my son had a Devin Haney shirt on, had a snack shirt on. You know, I was, I was kind of getting the timing of his jab, but every time I got the timing of his jab, it landed on my face. And I realized I wasn't getting the timing of his jab because his jab was timing me in my face. I think I underestimated the speed of Devin Haney, hand speed, his foot speed. I underestimated his strength. I underestimated his uh, boxing skills. I totally underestimated everything. I think it was about around six when I realized I had fucked up. That I realized that Devin Haney was just too young, too fast, and too vibrant um, of a of a champion. Now I see why he was undisputed. Now, well, when he dropped me, um, I actually didn't know what happened. Um, really, I thought I was um, in the fight with uh, Josh Taylor. Um, but when I came back, you know, there was Devin standing there. What were those things I was wearing to the ring walk? Well, those are what we call down in Louisiana Aruga rules, and they're supposed to bring you power and luck, and they didn't do shit for me in this fight. Not a damn thing I won't wear. I'm throwing them in the trash. Well, I'll just let Bill know that. I still think they're a bunch of damn crackheads, and I still think they ain't shit. But, you know, good fight, Devin. I mean, I, I don't, you know, you know, I keep the same energy, you know, from Louisiana, the Boudin country, Aruga rules. So how I'm going to bounce back from this uh, loss and um, uh, face Devin Haney in the future? Well, I think I'm going to have to be reincarnated into a whole better athlete. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to have to change into a, a superior athlete than Devin. Well, I think um, what what we've learned is that uh, I think Devin exposed some of my flaws. That um, that was exactly what everybody said that my flaws were, um, that I can't cut off the ring, um, too slow, get uh, they said that uh, my footwork was trash, and um, you know what I'm saying that um, you know I was a little long in the tooth, and I felt it out there. I think Devin kind of showed me that you know that 34 is different than when you. Well, you said how did I know that the uh, fight was going against me? Well, at some point in the fight, I uh, wanted to be Devin Haney when I didn't want to be myself. Um, that when you get to that point, you know you're losing. Yeah, you know, when you get to the point where you want to be the other, the your opponent, and you start coming up with plans to beat yourself, you know, I, I saw shots that I could have done on myself, so it was just kind of interesting, uh, the mindset, you know. Well, Devin was beating my ass so bad that it got to the point where I started rooting for Devin Haney, you know, um, I started giving him tips of how to hook off my jab, and he was doing it. He was styling on me, and it was kind of crazy. Well, the only way I'm going to beat Devin is to sell my soul to a Rougarou. And I think a Rougarou, if he could give me, you know, send some more power, maybe reincarnate me into a whole new another nigga, I might have another, I might have a chance. Well, right now I got a call from the uh, governor of Louisiana and, and uh, they told me to don't return to the state, um, that they was kind of embarrassed by this loss. And now I got to find a whole new another state to live in.